Joseph A. Matson, Dean of Notre Dame Law School. And Dean Newton, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much, Justine. It's great to be here. And we have heard that Notre Dame makes a different kind of lawyer. If you could maybe talk me through that. Yes, this is a phrase that we're very proud of. It means many things to many people. We cultivate at Notre Dame Law School both the life of the mind and the wisdom of the heart. And for our graduates, what this means is practicing law at the highest level of technical proficiency and at the same time remembering to keep balance in their lives and to act always in the service of others. And what are some of the innovative classes here at the Notre Dame Law School? Well, I could probably take another half an hour for that, <laughs> but I will highlight a few. Uh, we have a Master of Science in Patent Law and a Certificate in Patent Prosecution, uh, both of which are uh, in concert with the, uh, with the schools of science and business uh, and engineering. And these programs are aimed at scientists and engineers and help them prepare to be patent examiners or patent uh, prosecutors. They're wonderful programs. In addition, we have a LLM program in London, and we've sort of repatriated that program to South Bend. So this uh, Master of Laws program is designed for foreign lawyers and judges who can take courses with our JD students. And they can do it in London or South Bend or perhaps a semester in each. And you also have programs in Washington, D.C., Chicago. Are those newer programs, or we've had Yes, them? we have a semester uh, in Chicago, a semester in Washington, D.C., and those are externship programs. We now have nine externship programs, and these two, one in Chicago and one in uh, Washington, D.C., in addition to the ones in South Bend, uh, the two, these two other programs enable the students to go uh, to the, the site and work for four days a week in their, in their placements supervised by our faculty. They're wonderful programs. The DC program just started this year. The uh, Chicago program start, started a few years ago and is located in our beautiful facilities in the Loop in Chicago. Oh wow, both great places to be. Indeed. And so what are some Notre Dame law graduates, what are they up to these days? Well, our law graduates are doing everything. They're running major companies, they're hiring partners uh, at major, uh, uh, one, you know, AmLaw 100 firms. They're general counsels of major corporations. But I thought I'd highlight a few recent grads um, who are doing really great things. First, Megan Dilhoff and Ryan Snyder, who are clerking at the Supreme Court this year. I think they were interviewed earlier today. We're so proud of them. Uh, in addition, uh, Jason Baymeg, who graduated only two years ago, is a legal tech entrepreneur who's running a startup in Silicon Valley. And Jason and a venture capitalist recently taught a course at the law school in legal technology and informatics that dealt with everything from artificial intelligence to uh, document review, uh, you name it, uh, they covered it in, in this uh, great course. In addition, Brian Moore Murray of the class of 11, Brian was one of our first Schaefer Fellows, uh, Public Interest Fellows, and he was recently uh, admitted to the Temple University uh, um, a visiting assistant professor program, sort of training for our new professors. Sean Seymour of the class of 06 is at Vanderbilt, and he was just named a chancellor's fellow. And then finally, <laughs> we've had three federal judges just this year who were uh, confirmed, and I had the pleasure of going to the investiture of Jack Blakey, who is Professor Bob Blakey's son, and Bob had the privilege of making the motion to admit his son. It was a great day for Notre Dame. A long list of successful graduates, I'm sure many more. What do you say to hopefuls out there? It's obviously a very competitive program, hoping to get into the law school. Well, it is <laughs> extremely competitive. As I was saying earlier, right now we have more students than we have spaces, but we think things will uh, sort themselves out in the next few months. So I would say to hopefuls, just do your best to present yourself as somebody who aspires to be a different kind of lawyer. And in addition to getting good grades and doing well on the LSAT, uh, show us the special characteristics that make you someone who'd be very fit for the law school. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dean Newton, for taking time out of your day to join us here for this Notre Dame Day celebration. Thanks so much, Justine. Thank you again.